Shalom, Shalom. Kahala Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai Ba'ashem Rechak Kodash. The honors the apostles and elders of Ruel. And salutations to the brethren of four corners of the earth, pushing the word in truth and in sincerity. This is Iraq from Great Millstone, Wisconsin. I have a couple of uh, couple of things I wanted to say concerning wisdom, you know, and, and how to achieve wisdom. You know, um, a lot of times, you know, brothers may forget or, you know, or think that, you know, they don't have enough time or, you know, because it's getting hard, harder and harder to study. It's getting harder and harder to, oop, it's getting harder and harder to put up, you know, put up studio shows. It's getting harder and harder to, to read and research and things of that nature because, you know, you feel like you're running out of time or whatever it may be. But the thing is, is that, you know, we have to push through it and we have to apply our minds, you know. This is Sirach chapter 6 verse 32. It says, my son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent, you know. So if you're willing, you know, and you're willing to do what's necessary, you'll be taught, you know. And you want, if you want to apply those things, soon you'll be wise, right? If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou buy with thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. You know, and that's the reason why I told you to, that to bow down your ear is because you should listen more than you speak, you know. You learn way more from listening than you do from speaking, you know. And that's with everything, everything in life. So stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. Be willing to hear every godly discourse. And let not the parables of understanding escape thee. You know, so you should need to be willing to hear everything that the elders say. Everything that your teachers say, man. You know, it's not the discourse of the elders. So watching, you know, watching the apostles and elders uh, studio shows and, and you know, um, on location shows and live shows is detrimental. I mean, not detrimental, but is, uh, what's a good word, is vital, you know, to our desiring wisdom as well, man. Because they have a lot of experiences and a lot of a lot of stories and there are a lot of breakdowns that are, you know, that are coming to pass that we need to know about, you know. So we need to listen to these things as much as and as often as possible. It says be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. You know, so that means. You need to spend as much time with these men as possible, you know, whether it's uh, certain, you know, uh, older brothers, you know, older brothers in the camp, you know, whether it's, you know, watching the apostles and the elders, you know, we need to spend as much time uh, learning from them as possible. Let thy mind be upon the ordinance of the Lord and meditate continually in his commandments. You know, so and that doesn't mean just the uh, just Exodus, Leviticus and Deuteronomy, you know. It means also, and not, not even just Genesis and Numbers. This is speaking on the whole scriptures, man, because every precept in the scriptures is a commandment, is a statute. So we need to meditate on the whole book. It says, he shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. You know? So he will give you wisdom at your own desire, man, as long as you establish your heart and you're willing to learn, you know, and you're willing to put in the steps that's necessary to learn, you know? Go back to uh, the Psalms 119, because I said before that, you know, that the whole scriptures, the whole whole of the scriptures and the precepts in the book, you know, are, are uh, statutes and commandments. Right. This is Psalms 119 and 104. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Now, let's look at the pre word precepts. Right. Now, if I believe in the Hebrew, this is. Pa. Paha Kawad, which means properly appointed, a mandate of the Most High, plural only, collectively for the, for the law, commandment, precept, or statute. You know, so the scriptures say precept upon precept, right? Line upon line, here a little, there a little. Well, there are commandments scattered all throughout the scriptures, man. You know? An example would be, um, you know, when, when Paul, uh, just an example, when Paul spoke on, you know, the um, the man and the woman situation in 1 Corinthians 7 chapter, you know, about treating her as yourself and, you know, um, we can't restrain ourselves and things like that. 
you know that wasn't um a so-called commandment that was written in the in the in the torah but it was a commandment that was added to the added to these scriptures man you know through the spirit so let me go to uh Sirach chapter 19 verse 19 it says the knowledge of the commandments of the lord is the doctrine of life you know so when you think about the the law and you think about you know uh the scriptures throughout throughout the bible there are always things positive pertaining to life, you know, like Yahweh Bashim Yahushai always says, he says, I'm the God of the living, not of the dead, you know. So in order for us to live, we have to keep his commandments, you know, and if we didn't, if we went off on the Sabbath day or we went off on um, on committing adultery and lying and stealing and, and murdering, what happened? We would be put to death, right? So the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord are the doctrine of life. And they that do th do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality, you know. And that's what we're that's what we're in this fight for, to receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. And that can only happen when we're studying and we're researching and we're applying our minds to learn and follow after the commandments of the Lord. Man, it says, verse 20, the fear of the Lord is all wisdom and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency you know so in all wisdom you know which wisdom starts with fearing the lord you know and keeping the commandments you know and that's what all wisdom is with performance of the law you know and the knowledge of his omnipotency because that's our foundation for this knowledge man you know that's our the law is our foundation for knowing that we're israelites knowing our cultures and you know in our laws it's like yeah knowing our cultures and our laws man you know Knowing the spirit of the lo of the Most High, the law is the foundation for all of it. You know. It says, if a servant say to his master, "I will not do as it pleaseth thee," though afterward he do it, he angereth him that nourisheth him. You know, so so you know, don't uh, don't procrastinate, man. Don't say you're not going to do it, and then you end up doing it. You know, and that and that goes for all things, not just the law, but that goes for all things. It says, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. You know, and the knowledge of wisdom is what? Everything that does not account in uh, in the law, man. Everything that does not account in the scriptures, you know. If it's not in the scriptures, it's wicked. It doesn't mean it's inherently wicked, but if there's no there's no spiritual basis for it, you know, and it's, it's like, yeah, there's no spiritual basis for it, which is rooted in the scriptures. There's no, there's no point in doing it, man. There's no point in learning it. Yes, you can learn things to, uh, to broaden your knowledge, so to speak. But this is the reason why, you know, we all say, if, you know, younger brothers that are coming into faith, you know, stick with Great Millstone, you know, because that's the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord, man, instead of the knowledge of wickedness. Because it's easy for the knowledge of wickedness to seep into your mind and to destroy it, man, you know? It says, there is a wickedness Verse 23, there's a wickedness and the same an abomination. And there is a fool wanting in wisdom, right? He that hath small understanding and feareth the most high is better than one that hath much wisdom and transgresseth the law of the most high. So thinking about that, you know, we have small understanding in this truth, you know, but we fear the most high, which makes us greater than those in the world that have these uh, prestigious accolades and, you know, these awards for, for you know, uh, for all these achievements that they've achieved, but they transgress the, the law of the Lord every day. You know, we have, we have, we are much better than them, you know, because the wisdom that we have lasts forever. And the wisdom that they have will only last until for a season, man. You know, this is Sirach chapter 39, verse one it says, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies, you know? So if you apply, if you give your mind to the law of the Most High, which is the whole of the scriptures, you know, not just, not just the Torah, but, and you occupy yourself, you know, and you meditate, meaning you think upon these things, you know, and be occupied in prophecies. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where subtle parables are, he will be there also. So now what you're going to do is you're going to grow in wisdom and understanding. You're going to grow in knowledge, you know. 
It says, he shall, he shall serve among great men and appear before princes. And he will travel through strange countries, for he hath tried the good and the evil among men. So now you're going to gain something called experience as well. And with experience, you gain knowledge and wisdom. You know, see how this revolving door of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding starts once you once you apply your mind, man. You know, and I have to remind myself of that. I have to remind myself to read and to and to study and to go into words and to research. You know, because it's easy to get complacent. You know, in this world, in this world, it's easy to get complacent in this world, man. You know, so we have to continually give our minds to to being occupied. You know, in the meditation thereof of the scriptures. You know, so with that. That's all I want to say on the subject. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles and Elders Great Millstone Ruel, and salutations to the elect, you know, and the brethren on the four corners of the earth, pushing the word and truth and sincerity. Shalom.